the mask. Now, how many NBA players, for whatever reason, have we seen wear a mask on their face, right? It usually starts out with an injury of some sort, but let's face it, none of these guys really like to use it. I mean, Rip Hamilton broke his nose in 2003 and was forced to wear a mask himself, but he got so used to it that he decided to make it his priority to wear it every single game for the rest of his career, even after being fully healthy from the nose injury. He was a rare exception, but did that stop them from performing at the highest level possible? Some of these guys even had their best games while donning a mask, and I'll bring some light to that today. What's up, y'all? My name is OG the Beast, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. It only takes a few seconds of your time, and I greatly appreciate that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now go ahead and drop my intro. Ooh, ooh, it's killer rap, we got the hottest stats. In 03, I made a dynasty like Robert Kraft. In 2018, Sixer center Joel Embiid suffered a fractured orbital bone and had to wear the protective mask during the playoffs against the Miami Heat. Now, like most guys on this list, he broke out that black joint, which looks way better than me than the clear one, obviously. Now, Embiid had some controversy with his mask, as he made it very obvious he didn't want to wear it. I mean, the dude was consistently adjusting it and moving it and shifting it around all over his face. It got to the point that he just threw it on the ground, and this happened. His uh, glasses fell out, part of his, part of his protective glassware fell out, and Justice Winslow stepped on it on purpose, and... <laughs> well, Rebecca gave us the report, these are indestructible pieces of equipment here that the Sixers have for Embiid, and you're right, Winslow stepped on it, Yeah, and it's still in good shape. But just like everybody else on his list, even though he didn't like to wear the mask, it didn't stop him from averaging 19 points, 11 rebounds, and three blocks for the two weeks he had to wear it. Hall of Famer Tracy McGrady played 15 seasons in the NBA, most of which was riddled with injury, but still one of the greatest scorers ever. After taking an elbow to the nose, he was forced to wear the mask for a week. And during that span, he averaged 25 points, six rebounds, and five assists. Hey, that's not bad for a sweaty ass mask that blocks your vision. <laughs> he would go on to finish that season averaging one point less than that average, but would only play 47 games that year due to injury. Man, what T Mac would have been if he would have stayed healthy. After LeBron left Cleveland back in the summer of 2010, the Cavaliers will have one of the worst seasons in franchise history, which will result in them being granted a number one pick in the draft. They used that pick to take a young man out of Duke by the name of Kyrie Irving. Kyrie was also one that was really with injuries to start his career, so it shouldn't be a surprise to hear that he broke his jaw back in 2012, which also forced him to wear the mask. But maybe this is one guy that probably should have followed what Rip did and wore his mask more often because he would have a game against the Knicks that he'll never forget. Irving gets it deep in the corner, fires up a three, and puts it in. Irving nails the three-pointer, and it's back to six. Felton in the front court and immediately fouled. Kyrie Irving with a career high 36 points, 12 of them here in the fourth quarter. He would put up his then career high 41 points to go along with five rebounds and five assists. Irving wore the mask for 19 games that season and would average 24 points while shooting 47% from the field and almost 40 from three. I mean, too bad he was wasting it all on the bad Cavs team who lost a bunch of games that year, but it's still impressive from a second year Kyrie Irving though. Clippers star Chris Paul was playing with a face mask after sustaining a broken nose during Friday's game. Yeah, it was my first time wearing it tonight. You know, I found out after the game in San Antonio, you know, I probably have to wear one. So it is what it is. Is it uncomfortable? It's different. I mean, it's but it doesn't it doesn't inhibit anything. CP3 will go down as one of the greatest point guards to ever play the game. That still didn't stop him from having an unfortunate situation happen to him back in 2012. Coming off a screen and getting hit in the face, which resulted in a nasal fracture in the first quarter against the Spurs. But get this though, Paul would briefly lead the game. Yeah, he left the game, but he came right back and finished with 36 points and 11 assists with a fractured nose. The next game, he would don the mask for the first time and put up 23 points, five assists, and four steals in that game. That's Chris Paul for you, man. Straight resilience and a fierce competitor. An absolute dog. 
I love me some CP3, y'all. Back in 2015, Kevin Durant went down with an injury that forced one Russell Westbrook to take full command of the team. But during the course of that, he would take an inadvertent knee to the face that would fracture his cheekbone. Now, what's crazy is Westbrook is one of the most durable guys in the league. All of his injuries have been bang, bang plays just like this situation. But he would have surgery and miss the following game, but come back the game after that with a straight vengeance. Putting up a mean ass 49.6 rebound 10 assists triple double and that was a serious record breaking night y'all hear me out Westbrook became the first player since Michael Jordan in 1989 to have four consecutive triple doubles and the first since Jordan that year to have a back-to-back -back triple double with at least 40 points it was the most points by any player with a triple double since Larry Bird did it back in 1992 with 49 points Westbrook probably should have kept that mask on too y'all <laughs> I mean this kid had one speed forward the black mamba rest in peace to kobe bryant one of the greatest scores of all time so let's be real with or without a mask kobe bean was gonna put the ball in the hoop y'all <laughs> But back in 2012, during the All-Star game, Kobe took a shot from D-Wade that would leave him with a broken nose and a mild concussion. First game back from the All-Star break, though, he would take his frustrations out on the Minnesota Timberwolves as he would give him 31.7 rebounds and 8 assists with the mask on. Yikes. I like the way that mask looked on Kobe. Kind of gave him that superhero vibe. Sort of like LeBron did when he wore his. I mean, it was something different about the way LeBron looked in that mask with that all black and red jersey on. I mean, he looked like a straight villain, y'all. And I loved it that LeBron, to be honest with you. To me, Miami Bron was the best Bron we ever saw. But I'm gonna get into that in another video, though. Trust me, I got y'all. But LeBron would also get a face injury that would force him into this same situation, having to wear the mask. So the first game against the Knicks, he put up 31 points, 4 assists, and 4 rebounds and route to another victory for Miami. But LeBron put that mask to rest as the NBA wouldn't allow him to wear it again. In fact, the mask got banned by the league in general. But I'm sure we we will never forget the dark night that game because not only did he look like a superhero but he also played like one so let me know what y'all think who did it the best who wore it the best who looked the best and who played the best with the mask on let me know what y'all think down in the comments but anyway that's pretty much all i got for you guys please leave a like if you enjoyed this video also subscribe to the channel if you love sports the way that i do man i need some sports in my life can't wait till this pandemic stuff is over but i'm gonna get up with y'all man i'm gonna get on up out of here it's been a doozy y'all and as always og out